Okay, so now that we have created two cameras and blended those together and also rendered that out, let's take a look at another option. So if I come up to Cinemachine, we've got a load of different things going on here, but the next one I'm going to look at is the Carly, uh, create Dolly Track with Cart. We have got the Dolly Camera with Track, but I tend to find this one I can uh, just achieve a little easy what I want to do. So what this does, if I just pull this up, and hit F to frame it. This generates a track, a dolly track, a little bit like a train track, where the camera will be able to just slide across. So we've got a zero and a one point, so we can see the waypoints here, and we've got generated a dolly and a cart. But what we don't have at the moment is a camera. So I am going to just create a cinema machine virtual camera, which is three, and just for my own reference, I'm going to rename these Cart 3 and Track 3 just so I've got my Camera 1, Camera 2 and then all this is related to Camera 3. So in order to do what I want to do, I need to just link these together. But first of all, I'm going to go to my Track. It's a little bit tricky to see, so I'm going to open up my Appearance tab and just increase the width to 10 maximum so it's a bit easier for me to track or see from a distance and then I want to make sure that I've got it in the right position now I want to go from uh, across left to right or bottom to top from this angle and at the moment it's facing the wrong way and that's on the Z axis so I'm going to just zero off the Z and then increase the X and decrease the X. So I'm just going to click and drag, which will allow me to do that. So then I've got that roughly in place. And then I can lift that up. And then you'll notice that actually I want to go from this side to that side. But instead of switching that, I can just click and drag that above. And then it will swap those around for me. So I've got my track. And then if I go to my cart, what I can do with the cart, which is what you can't do, if you're just using the camera with track is that I can actually adjust the speed for one and also the position. If I change the position you'll see that the uh, gizmo is changing for the cart along that track. So I'm going to leave it at position zero and I'm just going to up the speed to 10 for now and then the next thing I want to do is come to my track now with the track, uh, sorry, my camera, and then with the camera I've got different options. I've got a follow, I've got a look at, and then I've also got the body and stuff down here. I want this to follow the cart, so I'm going to drag my dolly cart and put it in the follow. So now if I select my virtual camera, hit solo, you'll see that it has become up to the top of my track but it's pointing off in an odd direction. So what I'm going to do in my binding mode at the moment, it's locked to target with world up. I'm going to change this to world space. Uh, before I do that, let me just undo that. I want to zero off my camera first. So it's zeroed off, and then I'm going to drag in my dolly. And then if I just solo that, you'll see that now what it does is it's actually taken on the attributes the transforms of the dolly but it remains at zero 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 so by zeroing off that first it it um, re retains that rotation there and it's copied the positioning of the, the dolly there for me so what that enables me to do is from here I can actually rotate but before I do that I'm going to come in here right click and go to cinema cinema machine I can never say it shot so you can see that it is that camera there and it's at the moment facing the wrong way. But now what I can do is just come in, rotate that 90 degrees and I've got that looking straight down. And I think I want to rotate it as well that way. So we've got that 
working for us there. So when I've got the cart oh, position, you'll see that the camera will now pan and do this nice kind of bird's eye drone style shot. Um, but it's not quite in place. So I'm gonna just move my track ever so slightly here. And then in my camera, I'm just gonna adjust my lens. So if I zoom out, you see it's just, the camera's just way too big. Um, so my far clip plane, I'm just gonna reduce that to say 200, 100, you know, that'll do. And then also my field of view, I'm gonna bring in So move the dolly track over a bit, come back to my camera and just up my field of view just a bit and get that in place to where I want it. So we've got that there. Go to my cart, position, and at the minute it goes a little bit too far off. So I'm gonna bring that to say there where I want it to end. Dolly track, one, and then I can just reduce that down a little bit there. So now I've got that in place. I've got my Cinemachine shot here, which I haven't at the minute linked to the camera. So I can just tie that in. But if I scrub along here, it's not actually animating. But if I go to my cart and edit my position, it is. So what we need to do is actually put an animator on my cart because the camera is following the cart. So I'm gonna come down to my timeline, right click and add an animation track. I'm gonna just move that above my recorder and then I'm gonna drag my dolly onto the animation. Create an animator, yes please, thank you. Which now has my animator. And then I'm gonna to come to my five second mark here. I'm gonna hit record. And then on my dolly, in my position, I'm gonna right click and add a key. Then I'm gonna to come to 10 seconds. And I'm gonna scrub my position all the way to almost the end because I don't want that blue to there and it automatically adds in that key for me so if I stop recording and hit play it will play through that first blended cameras and then it will play through this position for me here which is brilliant but one thing that you'll notice is that if I just play this again this shot it kind of eases in so it starts off slow and then it will ease out. It will slow down before it gets to its final destination. Now, I don't particularly like that. I don't want it. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to edit in animation window. And I might want it to be, say, a little bit slower as well. But animation window will open up. And I'm just going to extend my cinema. Um, cinema. Uh, I can't even say it. Cinema machine clip to, say, 13 seconds. That's fine. Um, but it won't allow me to drag the keyframes. So you have to do that in here. So I'm just going to put my uh, scrub that to 13 so I can see it on there as well. And I can literally just drag that again to 13 and that will update in here. You can see that I'm on my dolly cart here. Um, but I'm going to change to curves. Scroll up and you can see the curve represents this slow in slow out this ease in and out so I'm just going to right click on that key point there and go to both tangents linear and I'll straighten that out and I'm going to do the same here linear so I've got the straight line I'm going to close that and I'm just going to hit play again and now it will be just one consistent speed as it pans across Like so. Now to do another one with keyframes, 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in and I'm going to right click and add another center machine shot. I'm going to add this here. I'm going to drag those cameras into my camera one there as well. Add another cinema machine virtual camera. Camera four, let's just drag this in two. And let's just say, I want to come down say here and then with cinema machine camera four active I'm going to control shift and F so I've got that locked in place and I want to make sure that that is my cinema machine virtual camera um, but this time I'm going to do the same key shift key things but I'm not going to have any dolly it's just a plain simple camera and I'm going to start from 13. Come on, there we go. 13 on the same or the new animation clip, animation track, camera four. So you can add different things to it. I'm going to move that up again from the recorder. And then I'm going to hit record, camera four. And then I'm going to right click and add key up the top here on the rotation. I'm going to scrub along to where that finishes. Is it 18? Zoom out and I'm just going to select this rotation around to there and then that's already given me a key shot or a um, keyframe rather and now you'll see that I'll render through. So if I just come to here we get this nice drone shot. Then it will change to this and I'll get this nice kind of panning rotation shot. So there's another couple of ways that you can use the Cinemachine camera with the uh, dolly and cart track using keyframes and also just a basic simple camera as well to get just sort of rotation simple kind of movement to be able to render out. Now I can just drag out my render clip there and then hit play and that will render out from the beginning and it will do all three cameras together in one video. Okay, so that's done. And if I just open up movie one, so you'll see that now this should have all three clips together. Didn't take too long. And I've got my rendered clip out. That's a little bit jerky, but hey. Um, if, for example, you didn't want that and you wanted it to be three separate, then you can just bring that through, right clip, and add another clip, oops, add a recorder clip, move this in, and then go through the settings again, but I want it to be a movie, mp4, that's fine, throw that onto the desktop, that's fine, and then this time I'm just going to have this movie or drone drone shot four K, why not? Right click, add a recorder. Movie short. Sure. rotation shot 4k as well don't want the audio and then when I hit play it will do its thing again but instead of creating one video 
it will create three separate videos. Okay, so that's done. Let's just uh, minimize this for a moment. And I've got my drone shot, rotation shot, and then my movie. So three separate movies, just with those three different renders. So that's pretty much it. I can take those into um, editing software if I wanted to, or I'll do more within Unity. But for now, um, basics on just getting some nice clean fly-throughs, that's pretty much good for me.